let's just do that again. Sup guys, my name is Sheldon Zam and I'm a kid from South Africa. In this video, we're going to be talking about four reasons why your Wi-Fi is disappearing and we're going to be talking about four solutions as well because that's the way we do it on this channel. So yeah, that's the intro, done. <laughs> Please. What? What's up fellow Zam Jammers and a warm welcome to everybody else who is not subscribed and notified to this channel. We're going to be making a quick, short, shareable video which is to the point and I'm not going to waste any more time right now so let's get right into it. Number one, how many users are on your Wi-Fi? How many people that really affects it? Whatever you're doing it, the more people, whatever you're doing on your Wi-Fi, the more people there are on the Wi-Fi. It's just going to be like multiplying whatever your usage is by the more by the amount of people. Next, you've got what kind of user those people are. You get light users, people who just browse social media, check their WhatsApp updates, and then you get heavy users, people who stream a lot. You get gamers, you get Netflix binge watchers, and people who download a lot of things. Gamers, these these are all heavy users these are all examples of heavy users and yes obviously the heavier the user the more your wife is going to get child that brings me to the next point what kind of content now this really goes hand in hand with the kind of user because basically videos people who are using videos a lot watching videos uploading and downloading videos netflix youtube facebook these are heavy kinds of content they use a lot of data and they will chow your internet fast then you get light content you can talk like about text you can look at instagram which isn't it's pictures it's not a lot of videos although it's becoming more and more videos you've got messages between people on on whatsapp and these are all examples of light usage now after you consider all of these facts you need to consider the fact that updates are real people who tune into your wi-fi people have their settings set to updates on wi-fi so your updates are going to happen on Wi-Fi, even your computer's updates, and updates are big. Xbox, PlayStation, all of these computers, cell phones, they all need updates, and yeah, that is a big reason why your internet is disappearing. So, let's go on to the solutions then. Number one, make your Wi-Fi private. If you haven't done this already, guys, this is going to help you a lot. Because when your Wi-Fi isn't private, that means it's public and there's no password. Anyone can just tune into your Wi-Fi and child that Wi-Fi right up. So enable a password and don't make it a dumb password. Like, I'm sorry for saying dumb. Let me, let me say, don't make it an easy password for someone to guess. Like your ID number or like your cell phone or something that gives information about you or which makes sense. Don't make it random, something which you can remember and store it. Okay, number two. Don't give your password to more people than your data plan can handle, your Wi-Fi plan. Whatever it is, don't give it to too many people. Don't be too generous. I mean, yes, your friends, your family, your close friends, just let them let them have it. But if you know that it's not going to last as long when you give it to them, choose the people who you give your password to wisely. That's all I'll say. Understanding what I've said over here in terms of the types of content you get, videos and text and pictures, you need to limit your usage based on that. For example, if you know that it takes more darts to watch videos, watch less videos or watch them in a lower quality. For example, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, there's now something called YouTube Go, where you can choose to download or watch a low quality version of the video and I've seen how it compresses videos really, really small, like a little bit. Even my videos can be 10 to 15 megs on the smallest options, which is, which is quite little. And then lastly, you want to be careful with downloads. This is my personal observation. Internet service providers here in South Africa really watch it when you do torrents and when you do naughty things like that on the internet. They prefer it when you use YouTube. Now this all has to do with something called soft cap. Soft cap is that place, that time once you've reached all of your allocated data, even though it might be uncapped, it might be after 150 gigs or 250, wherever they set it, and then you just start to have really slow internet. Sometimes you get soft capped faster when you download more. So watch YouTube, guys. Watch YouTube. I understand that lots of internet service providers are a lot more friendly with YouTube and streaming like it. So that was this video, and yes, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more ideas, 
educational videos like this that you want to see me talk about well please do comment below and yes I'm also going to be making a video about mobile data and how to save mobile data because people I know my father in fact had to pay 20,000 rand just because of what an unchecked mobile data phone plan bill ah not good so I'm going to be talking about that otherwise that's all for me thank you fellow Zam Jammers and everybody else hit the subscribe button the like button and all of these good buttons to hit but let me let me just say if you're not subscribed there are awesome things happening here welcome also to everybody else who's who's new here we are growing and so I'm going to show you some of the awesome content I've made in the past coming up on this channel just because you like I've got some cool content and I want to show you guys but yes that is the end of this video thank you again and cheers